My name is Rebecca Poclumba, and I chose Psalm 77. Um, the first nine verses are David crying out to God, and it's summed up in verse 10. He says, And I said, This is my fate. The Most High has turned his hand against me. That's one of the first reasons that I like the psalm, because it's so desperate in those most dark times of life. Um, I think that that encapsulates those times very well. But then in verse 11, he goes on and says, But then I recall all you have done, O Lord. I remember your wonderful deeds of long ago. They are constantly in my thoughts. I cannot stop thinking about your mighty works. O oh God, your ways are holy. Is there any God as mighty as you? You are the God of great wonders. You demonstrate your awesome power among the nations. By your strong arm, you redeemed your people, the descendants of Jacob and Joseph. When the Red Sea saw you, O God, its waters looked and trembled. The sea quaked to its very depths. The clouds poured down rain, the thunder rumbled in the sky, your arrows of lightning flashed. Your thunder roared from the whirlwind. The lightning lit up the world. The earth trembled and shook. Your road led through the sea, your pathway through the mighty waters, a pathway no one knew was there. You led your people along that road like a flock of sheep with Moses and Aaron as their shepherds. So verses 11 through the end, uh, verse 20, is why I really like this psalm. Uh, it's really encouraging to me to recall the mighty works of God in those most desperate times where I'm wondering where is he, what's going on. I don't understand why life is going this way right now. When I remember who God is and what he has done, then I remember he's working that way in my life too. So that's why this is encouraging.